It's cold out here. I could use pants. Oh, no, that's better. Hey, everybody, it's Chugger Conroy. Welcome back to more Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time, we explored a mountain that was actually a box. But it's okay, because Up Shuttle Thread Pass was a brain teaser with some nice music. Pretty good level. Definitely shouldn't overdo it with the mazes. Um, but once in a while isn't really all that bad. This time, we're going on a snowy mountain lift tour, and we're out of Yoshi's to use. I'll be right back. I've given you a feel of how deep these crossovers go. We have not just Nintendo favorites here, but there's a Mega Man Yoshi, there's a Sonic Yoshi, there's a Shulk Yoshi. They went all out with making sure that every last character that had Amiibo at the time of the release would have a Yoshi. So I'm thinking to kind of extend that crossover as well as somebody who's really agile and would help with platforming a lot when getting up a mountain, what about Pikachu Yoshi? That's right. They secured the rights to Mega Man and Sonic, but not Pikachu. In fact, there are no Pokemon Yoshis. They're the big gaping hole of exception right in the middle of this huge cast of characters that is usable. I wanted to show this because it's very strange. I know that Pokemon has its rights partly held by other companies, but it's a very perceivable hole. And not, I'm not just talking about the windows over there. It's strange, if not completely bonkers, that they're not here. So instead, I'm thinking to help us get up the snowy mountain, we need somebody who can keep themselves warm. Somebody who can breathe fire. Bowser Yoshi! His mouth is pretty terrifying, and his Koopa shell's really cool! It'll be interesting to see how Bowser Yoshi handles the mission. He might be able to breathe fire, but he's also cold-blooded, so I wouldn't imagine that he'd be really all that good in this sort of environment from that angle. Maybe it'll break even and he'll do all right. For our badge, fall into a pit no problem. A badge we haven't used a whole ton. It was chosen because even though it's good on this level, it doesn't completely trivialize it like is so often the case, which is really nice. Here we have bullet bills, just the standard variety, not wallet bills. I'm kind of sad, but I guess it makes sense. Um, that block. Hit it with something, and it will change the track that these lifts will be moving on. Basically how you're going to be moving about, already we're seeing it again. It's going to be a running trend in the thing of this level. Give me a Meaver stamp, give me a Bumpty, and... All right, you. I'm gonna make you live up to your family name, and I'm gonna Bumpty you into that cloud! Man, what a sad existence. The fact that he actually died against hitting a cloud. That has gotta be some... That is some grade A frailty coming from the kid who always got picked last in PE as a kid. I think I know frailty very well, and if I'm saying that you've got it, oh, you've got it. <laughs> well... Uh, Bowser Yoshi just looking kind of bored. Figures he'd be a little bit impatient. You know, he'd be a little bit more rebellious than the other Yoshis. I better hover here for a while. Come on, Bowser, shake that tush. Shake that tush. Go yeah, oh, okay. I was a little worried there. Up we go. Seems like we're gonna be doing a lot of waiting here. It's kind of another slow paced, maybe not relaxing, cause what, a what was I hovering in place for? Oh. I can't actually re Oh crap, this is bad. Okay. Uh, this badge was chosen out of being helpful, but not completely trivializing because yes, there are certain things that you can't reach in it. I knew that, but I didn't quite think it was going to happen this soon. Uh, am I gonna get any of this stuff? Okay, good, I am. <laughs> Wait, what? Why can't I reach it back there then? What the heck? It wasn't higher, what? no it's not. What kind of sense did that make? If you say so, game. You're the one with the physics equations, and I'm just making educated guesses based on the loose abstract concept of seeing something that is perceivable as a game when it's really just a computer crunching numbers. But, uh, I'll take your word for it. Oh, no. 
All right, Bumpty, you bump me up there. I like how they're just so blissfully unaware. They don't really seem to care what Yoshi's doing. I can bounce on their heads and it doesn't bother them in the slightest. I can actually kill them and their expression never changes to shock and terror. It's just, they just kind of live life or don't. Oh, whoa, whoa uh, didn't think that was gonna work. That. So I do have to be a little bit careful, but at least don't have to restart the stage if I fall into a pit. There are some collectibles that I could miss from not taking the higher pathway and over relying on it. You will also eventually get to a point where um, it's impossible to move any further. If you just did that, you will have to backtrack a little bit. Uh, is there anything down here? Um, well, the beauty is I can just check. No, wow. Yoshi looks so freaky how he has a painted on open mouth while his cheeks are also stuffed. It just looks kind of not right. I don't know. Uh, give me my hearts. Turning bullet weaponry into love. That's very much the kind of world that I would like to create. Yes. Very ideal and very, uh, well, okay. A little bit of a fairy tale though, but it still sounds nice, I guess. Give me that. And these are very disappointing. <laughs> I personally always been a believer that maybe Mario is actually faster than Sonic and is one of the fastest game characters and his speed is just relative because they have to slow it down a lot for you to be able to perceive what he is doing and for it to not just be completely impossible to play and hard to control. When you think about it, Mario is able to stop actual bullets with his feet. That's not something to be taken lightly. That's something that's very indicative of somebody's true speed and maybe Yoshi is the same way. These might be some super speedy being. No! Well, um, I guess this proves that Yoshi is at least a little slower than Mario because I don't see Yoshi clipping through walls a la Mario 64 here. Into that. Oh, I'm gonna bounce up. Give me the bounce. I must have the bounce. I can handle the bounce, trust me. Doesn't matter if I'm on the Wii U. I can handle the bounce. And, oh, no, I can reach that. Didn't quite look like I could. Go up, and there it is. Bullet Bill juggling made a lot easier by flutter jumps. Just bounce off of them as necessary. Don't do it more than what is necessary. And at the end, there is your prize. Could just throw an egg, but it feels cooler to do it the real men way. Okay. Well, moving on without presumably tons and tons of collectibles. That's the thing is that if you go through any sort of wall or anything of that sort, it feels like you've missed like 12 things because of how many collectibles there are. And you might very well have because 10 hearts would be worth 10 points and then one Wonder Wool and one flower. You're already there at 12 points. That's putting it lightly. I'll take this melon. We were going to get introduced to how fire melons were going to be useful in this level before, but... I took a little bit longer than expected with that. Not like we haven't seen them before in other levels though, so it's not really that bad. There's that, back up to 70,000 beads. I'm gonna have to work on that, need to get it lower. There's, oh, there we go. I keep instinctively thinking that I'm gonna die if I fall in the pit. Okay, come on, get, hammer in a few for good measure. Get my memory actually good. All right there, that's some good positive reinforcement. I can do things that would kill me and it won't actually happen. Good way to live life. Uh, give me the bead, please. Thank you. How did I miss that so many times? Now, I have to tell you the truth about Bumpties. They don't care about anything. Their expression never wavering. If you kill them or they kill you, it matters not to them. Because they're Bumpties. They are incapable of feeling, which is why everything just bounces off of them. Well, uh, now it's starting to pick up a little bit. I ask and I shall receive. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Wow, uh, I like how the pit moved up with us. That was really nice. I was thinking that I was in serious trouble, but I guess not. <laughs> There's you. And it's okay, I feel into sharing, even if you guys, whoa, look at those, look at that giant physics party going on down there. Look at this. Uh, oh, they all died, <laughs> no. That's actually a little sad that they died without ever feeling anything. Uh, Bumpty for top 10 most sympathetic villains. Well, only one flower missed. It really could have gone a lot worse. Um, kind of glad that this was a bit of a shorter one because it's not the greatest one. And no, no. Stop myself. Yes. 
It's gotta be so awkward doing a speed run where you're trying to not hit the flowers, but you have to get all of them if you're going out for 100%, or if you couldn't avoid collecting a flower, having to just stop in place and jump through it at just the wrong time so that it doesn't take too long. Well, there- oh, no! I didn't get all the Wonder Wall. Yeah, I'm sorry. Aside from the bumpy shenanigans at the end, that wasn't the best level. It was very slow, a lot of waiting around, not a whole lot going on, and I'm kind of glad that it wasn't one of those levels that just took half an hour to get through. More Meaver stamps! Sky Pop Yoshi was in there, as was Miss Cluck the Insincere. Those are some nice ones. Oh, yes! This castle! But I have to go to the ski lifts again. How exciting. Bowser didn't work out so hot. Usually, each of these Yoshis wound up getting at least five of one collectible. He got five of neither. We're going to need a guy who's more in shape. Really hairy guy to keep him warm on those slopes. Donkey Kong Yoshi! I got a little too comfortable with that badge. Now I'm having the opposite problem. <laughs> I just took the bit thinking I'd be fine. <laughs> Hello, a giant sea in the sky. No, you! Bumpty don't care. Bumpty don't care. He don't care about anything. More hidden beads that I also missed. Well, yes, had a feeling. Hurts. But there was a melon behind you. And that melon shows us that even in the face of fiery watermelony death, their expressions are still never changing. Even when frozen in ice. Their cold dead hearts do not even care if that is the case. Come on. Come on. I gotta use my three shot. Well, no, I can just do that and get another one. Yeah, that, that way I can get more stuff. Give me your head. It's not like you're using it to feel anything. Come on. In there. Good Yoshi. Good Yoshi. Now for the real bacon. And by that I mean vegetarian stuff. There's that flower. And I'm sure there's some very optimal way that you could use the fire melons to make it so you get everything in one go, but I'm... Look at this! They are pushing me back! No! Uh, that was totally the Wonder Wall. Oh, wait, wait, maybe not. Maybe not. That looks invisible. Yes, something can look invisible. Yes! Hidden in the wall. Good. Didn't miss anything of value. No! That's it. Fried penguin for dinner tonight! Whoa! Uh, I looked at what it actually looked like when they were on fire, and that looks very violent, how it's specifically their heads that are just engulfed in flames. <laughs> or at least their faces. Their whole body kind of is their heads, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, well, okay. I'm just gonna avoid you guys like the plague, because you're terrible people. Bye. Well, we've done our time. We rode the most deadly ski lifts in the world. And now the castle is open for reals. So, I think next time on Yoshi's Bully World, we're gonna be heading off with a referee Yoshi. Blizzard Yoshi. Oops. Looks like he's wearing like the zebra shirt that football referees wear. Yeah. It I'm sorry, I don't see it. I also don't associate dark blue with blizzards. I would say more white and light blue. I'm rambling. See you guys then. I waited 
waited too long to talk about these shorts not being quite as good as they used to be, because they were not that great for a while. They've started being good again lately.